Hello. Today a customer asked me, have I got a solution for their invoicing? They're a small business that goes to people's homes to perform a service and they don't want to carry around uh, the normal invoicing book that you'd buy from a news agents because they think it looks tacky. Uh, they can't put their logo on it without paying for expensive printing and a whole number of other reasons. This customer also didn't like using Word documents because she found it tricky and because it was hard to print. So she would, she would, couldn't give that invoice there and then to the customer. So my solution to her was Billing Boss. It's what I use and <laughs> it's pretty powerful. It's a free service. They make their money from merchant services if you want to do that by accepting credit cards and stuff all that sort of stuff so that's how they make that their money and that's how they provide this free I don't use any of those I just use the free service I've created a mock-up account here just so I can show you a few things in it it's a really quick tutorial now if you type Billing Boss into Google um, it's by Sage Spark okay now when you set it up you'll enter your business details all that sort of stuff it's all straightforward it takes less than 10 minutes um, and this is the dashboard you're presented with when you log in. So just go create new invoice. And this is basically it's just like any other invoice. You know we can select a customer, okay, create add the details of the customer, a new customer. Um, and this is really powerful too because you can put in all their details, even though you just might need to put in their name for billing purposes. Uh, having their address there and emails and phones is always good for marketing in the future as just as good as a reference so I always fill out as much detail as I can in that section then we can just go ahead and fill it out like a normal invoice um, put comments here in the, in the comments section um, it had a section there where I could add on tax so I put my GST in um, and then once you finish that we can save the invoice okay so here's the invoice we've just created in a few seconds um, if you don't like to look at that one, click over here. You've got a few choices. Um, changes the layouts, the colours of the invoice. Now, I usually just email my invoices to my customers and they can print it out or do whatever they want. Um, but yeah, you can see, and there's also an option to put in a logo to make it look even more professional. But it just beats using in Microsoft templates, um, I find. And I think it's going to be a big hit. Uh, for people in the service industry, um, obviously at shops you can get a receipt there and there, but service industry, the printing of receipts, I can just email my customer a receipt from my iPhone or from my laptop and they have it. I don't have any customers that have any problems receiving receipts. One person needed a paper copy, that's fine, mail it out to them. So it's what you'd have to do normally with paper invoices. So you can see you've got the tabs up here. We can go in there and we can have a look at our customers. Um, we can also manage our invoices. We can share the data with our accountant online, letting them log in securely. Um, I've just set this up. We can export our customer list. We can import an existing list. You know, this is pretty powerful stuff. Hopefully, they're going to be in business for a long time. So, and as you can see, here's the ad for their merchant services. I'm sure. It I'm sure I wouldn't mind using their merchant services. I have other ways of doing that, but this is the invoice list anyway, and it, it you know it gives us a good look, a good snapshot of outstanding past due, the quotes we've got to follow up on, the drafts we've made, um, whether we've sent the invoice or not. So when you hit send invoice, I always like to put in a personal message here, and attach a copy as a PDF, so they can print it out if they want, and send a copy to my email address so I know that they've got it and I've got another record that's away from Billing Boss. But this is just a quick look, an introduction if you will, into Billing Boss and just to let you know that there are other ways to do it, to get away from Microsoft Word and to also, you know, stop spending money on um, those invoice books that you buy at your local newsagent.